I don't know, man. I feel like a shinobi. I might have to get right. Today, we're diving into a vibrant topic that's as colorful as it is curious. Why do so many anime protagonists wear orange? From Naruto Uzumaki and Naruto to Ichigo and Bleach and you know what we gotta talk about next. Goku from DBZ. You got Shoyu from Haiku and you also got Natsu from Fairy Tail, but I can go on and on and on. Orange seems to be a staple for the heroes of the Eastern world, but why? I mean, let's talk about it. First up, I want to touch on the psychology of orange. This energetic color captures attention and is often associated with vitality and enthusiasm. Perfect for protagonists who are always in the heart of the action. For characters like Goku, whose spirit and energy are literally glowing pretty much half the season, orange reinforces their innate power and determination, which is pretty interesting. In Japanese culture, orange represents joy, sunshine, and courage, traits that are pretty pivotal to heroic characters. It's believed that orange also fosters a sense of general wellness and can invigorate a little bit of energy, which is pretty essential as well for characters that are always gonna be undergoing intense battles and personal growth. Next, let's look at things from a visual standpoint because anime is something that is consumed visually, so anime scenes is very vital to that, and sometimes those scenes can include many different people and objects in the background. Orange ensures characters like Goku and Naruto stand out in pretty much every scene that they're in, whether they're battling foes or inspiring friends, it's a pretty strategic choice that makes the protagonist immediately recognizable, which is crucial in visually dense anime scenes. I mean, can you imagine Naruto in one of the crowded shots with his class and he's just wearing beige? I don't know, kind of looks cursed. The late, great Akira Toriyama hasn't specified exactly why he chose orange for Goku's gi. However, it is pretty clear that the bright standout hue mirrors Goku's journey and his evolution. This color does mirror Goku's growth from a curious boy into a defender of the earth. Similar parallels can be drawn from Naruto, whose vibrant personality and destiny for growth are encapsulated in his bright orange attire. Kishimoto, the creator of Naruto, has also been on record and said that he was inspired by DBZ and also wanted a color that not only made his main character stand out, but would also symbolize his naivete and foolishness. Which I mean makes sense because if you're a ninja, the best color to wear probably wouldn't be one of the brightest shades of orange. <laughs> but we'll even compare these protagonists that have these bright attires to others that have darker attires, the contrast in their natures and narratives becomes apparent. Orange conveys openness and bravery, while darker colors often hint at conflict or internal turmoil. But why is it that we don't see protagonists wearing orange as much in the Western animations? While orange has significant presence in Japanese anime, when we look at protagonists from animated series in other countries, the use of orange is noticeably less frequent. In Western animation, protagonists are often seen in colors like red, blue, green, which have their own psychological impacts. For instance, Superman and Spider-Man are both iconic for their red and blue suits, colors that represent heroism, trust, and integrity. The rarity of orange in Western hero attire could be attributed, and this is all hearsay, but could be attributed to its less conventional and more playful energetic connotations, which might not align with the traditional stoic and heroic figures portrayed in Western culture. I don't know, we just like to be macho, it seems like. Furthermore, color symbolism varies greatly by culture and from country to country. In the West, you know, orange can sometimes be associated with caution or hazard. You know, think something like traffic cones or safety vests, you know, they're always pretty much orange. Something like that might just deter its use for characters meant to be seen as universally positive and heroic. I mean, I can only really think of a couple like, you know, Aquaman and I guess shout out Mermaid Man in the same sense, but not many more outside of that. However, to contrast that, in Eastern cultures, particularly in India and also in Japan, orange is a highly auspicious and spiritually significant color, which could explain its more favorable depiction in Asian media. And we also have to keep in mind that market preferences and cultural norms also play a role. In European and American cartoons, there's a strong trend towards more muted and primary colors, which are believed to resonate better with their target demographics. There isn't really any studies on this, that's just been kind of the trend. Meanwhile, the bright and vibrant palette commonly found in anime 
may reflect an aesthetic that appeals more to Asian audiences. I'm eager to hear your thoughts. Do you know of other protagonists who wear orange? What are some other color theories or character designs that you've noticed in anime or film? Share your insights and let's discuss these color influences on our perception of these characters. But I've rambled on long enough. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to subscribe for more color analysis and discussions. This is Jerry Cross. See you next time.